Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This week's toy hunt, we're trying out Walmart. We haven't filmed here since the holidays, but they do have a nice end cap of the new Color Surprise Magic Mixies. And they have all six eye colors, which is all six types. So that's exciting to see because I've I've still gone to Walmart um, just to check and I just haven't filmed here because they really haven't restocked. They also have some of the Creepover dolls as well as the, the OG Draculaura, which is cool. And so far, these little uh, ragdoll monster high plushies, I've only seen them at Walmart. I don't know if they're Walmart exclusives, but they have a little bit of a restock in the doll section. Which I'm glad to see that Draculaura. I've seen her like once or twice, and that's about it. <laughs> Looks like they also have some rollback mixed in. And they do have a little bit of the new Polly Pockets. It's the vehicles and the minifigure characters, which looks adorable. I love the UFO. And then there's this really cute pineapple one, too. Which, these are, are tempting. I just have no place to put them right now, but I do like them a lot. And then My Little Pony has, like, a version of Polly Pockets. That's what I'm calling it. They're, they're mini. They're little play sets. They're pretty cute. I'm really interested in like the teeny tiny ponies. <laughs> Not the playset, just just the ponies. They're they're adorable. They also have a lot of the fidget dolls, the crybaby dolls. Not too much with Care Bears, although there is one of the 40th anniversary Carolot Bear, which that is beautiful. I still can't believe that's like 40th anniversary. <laughs> My goodness. Care Bears have been around for a while. And then this Walmart has a couple of Cats vs. Pickles. I was hoping to find more of the Pop Art Soft Elephants because those are adorable. Oh, we have some mid-sized Squishmallows. I don't find these often at, at Walmart. So they have a couple little friends there. That bird's really cute. They also have the Alphamau Mystery Plush as well as the new Series 2 minifigures, the Mee Meows, which are adorable. I really like the whole food thing. And I love the art style too. They're they're really cute. Just these new boxes don't have codes on them, which ah I, I, I like a good code. <laughs> saves saves some money on, on duplicates. And then panning down they have some mermaids dolls, lots of LOL capsules. And then this shelf tag, okay, so that's yeah, that's something else. It's not these. Could you imagine if those were $5? I'd probably buy the whole case, but they're not. So definitely when you're looking at clearance, make sure you scan the barcodes um, because the shelf tags are often in the wrong spot or apply to a specific character. Now this one looks correct that it looks like the LOL OMG Queen dolls are on clearance for $11, which is a really good price. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely scan. We, we saw this with Target too, um, looking at the shelf tags and characters. And then also on an end cap, they have a display for the hundred years of like the Disney company with these cute little doll, princess doll packs. Look at Ray. Oh my goodness. They almost remind me a little bit of the animator dolls. Now they're different because they do have like plastic sculpting, but they're kind of a cute set. They make for a cute display. Oh, look at Maui. He's huge. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen like a Maui figure like that. That's cool. They also have a little mermaid with Ursula. So just kind of a nice set. Glad to see some hundred year stuff in, in stores, both Target and Walmart. Oh, look at the Encanto with Bruno. That's awesome. So that one's on an end cap. And then in the action figure section, they don't have too much in, in the way of new items. I know there's some awesome new Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, the Circus series. Um, they do have some snaps. I think they announced some new snaps coming as well, which will be pretty cool. I've actually bought like the Foxy one and I think the Bonnie one, and I still haven't opened them. I, I need to do that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm waiting for. Just time. And I know at this point yesterday, um, I think it was yesterday, they posted pictures of the first day on set filming for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, which is just so exciting. And they have some cool Fortnite minis, as well as this guy. Look at the, the drumstick legs he has, he comes with. <laughs> and then, alas, one, one Mewtwo for Pokemon. And then it looks like the Boba Fett plushie is also on clearance for $25. So that's pretty cool. And then there's the classic 
just awesome Mandalorian with Grogu. That's coming out soon too. Is it March 1st? I know they've dropped some awesome trailers. Can't wait to see those guys again. See what they're up to. We've missed them. <laughs> Such a good series. I also have some lightsabers. More Star Wars. Moving on to Pixar. As well as Marvel. I know DC dropped some cool information recently too. Oh look at they have the studio series 86 movie Spike in the exosuit, which this time he has a face, which that's good because <laughs> I think he came with a Dinobot and it was like the helmet was like you couldn't see through it. And then they just have some old legacy ones. I know Transformers just announced some new releases too. And it looks like a couple are on rollback or clearance as as well. Now we're at five below, sorry for the abrupt transition, but they have new Squishmallows, which are absolutely adorable. Look at the chameleon, the koi fish. I think that might be a hamster. We got a snake. I love that meme. I'm a snake. Okay, that, that's just too funny. Me, me and Mr. Bird love we're doing that right now. <laughs> and then they also have the Valentine's one. So I filmed this on a short by a local Walmart, but now, or I'm not at Walmart, uh, five below, but now I'm at a very far away five below, and it looks like they have the a full set of all the Valentine's ones. They have the little frog, the manta ray, the dragon, the bee, the hammerhead shark, the duck, the gorgeous octopus, <laughs> the little flying pig, the cat. So yeah, definitely um, check five below if you like the mini Squishmallows. I think they're adorable and such a good price. Five Below also has some of the Disney Funko Pops from the Villain series. These are pretty new. Oh, they have they have all all six in the series. There's Cruella, Captain Hook, Doctor Facilier, Maleficent, Evil Queen, and then Lady Tremaine. She's she's over there. <laughs> and they also have some other cool like Infinity Saga ones. These small little um, minions and some different Nightmare Before Christmas pocket pops. And then here's a quick look at the blind bag section. They have these like squishy stress ball squish squishums from Squishmallows. And then my goodness, they have the new series two magic mixy mixlings. Now they're the same price, you know, at as regular stores, but so cool that five below has like the new stock you can find as well. Um, so they're definitely trying to recover after the holidays because I haven't filmed here since then. Um, their toy section is still very, very small. Oopsies. They have the small little Squishmallows and a random plush but i think they're they're starting to to restock again so that's awesome they went to three toy aisles down to like half a one after the holidays but still it's fun to find some blind bags they have the cats versus pickles i'm hoping maybe they'll have the pop art soft ones they also have some of the real littles and then these slime hatching jurassic world dinosaur eggs which look pretty cool and then one of these random, oh yeah, these are like the little mochi ones, but they're not blind bags. Okay, I'm back home from my toy hunt, and the rest of the video is the haul portion, in case you guys want to stick around and see what I purchased. And Walmart is still resetting after the holidays, but the end caps had some new stuff, including the awesome Magic Mixies Color Surprise Magic. They had all six critters. You can tell by the different eye colors if you're interested. And I picked up the one with the turquoise eyes and the lightning bolt. It's going to be a cute one. And so far, I've absolutely just fallen in love with these plushies. I have cute little Nova from a previous opening. And what's also really cool with these, just like the other larger mixies, is that they're poseable. They have the metal um, pieces inside so you can bend them. You can have them hold things. Their tails have that piece so they can stand up. So I really like that with a poseable little plushie. So they're also the same price at Target. They're like $19.98 at um, Walmart. And then we went to Five Below. So if you saw one of my shorts, they had the Valentine mini plushies. And this little cutie just stole my heart. The little dapper octopus. He has a heart monocle. Um, his name is Eco, Echo. Um, absolutely adorable. These are the 450 plush at Five Below. So really happy to find him. I actually ended up going to a different Five Below than I did my short at because the one I went to originally was sold out of some of the Valentine minis. I also picked up this little sweet manta ray. Her name is Saxa. I love the little heart embroidery. And then on the back, she's just super colorful. So she's a really cool one. 
so soft. And then the last one I picked up is this little cutie. It's the Bee Sunny. Look at the heart embroidered cheeks, the little pink wings, the flower. They did a great job. And this one was sold out at that first five below and then I found it at the second one. I think at the time of filming you can still find these online as well and they'll probably restock between now and, and Valentine's Day. So cute. And then Five Below also released some new mid-size ones and a quick shout out to Red Wan Kenobi from Instagram. If you're watching, you sent me a picture of this little sweetheart. She's a koi fish, which I just think is so unique and so pretty. Love the markings. Um, some of you may know I have a goldfish and I absolutely adore them. And this is Dandy the koi fish. So I thought this would be adorable. Mr. Birdlove was there too. And he's like, yeah, you, you gotta get the koi fish one. And they're still a good size. They're not too large, so they're like the, the mid-size. And I never know, is it like seven inches or so? These are the 595 ones at Five Below. <laughs> and then Five Below is still in the stages of restocking, just kind of like Walmart is, but we got there at a great time because they had some awesome Funko Pops. And of course I had to pick up Captain Hook, part of the Disney Villain series, which is a fairly new series. He has the lantern holding Tinkerbell, which is awesome. There are six different ones. I picked up three of them. Captain Hook was one. You can take a guess at who you think the other two I purchased were. But these were $5.95, which usually they're $12.99, even on the Funko shop right now. Um, so that's a great price. So happy to catch them in, in the restock phase. And then I also picked up Maleficent. I know the animated version, her crow is Diablo. So she's petting the crow, which I thought looked really cute. And then the last one I picked up, you don't see much stuff with this villain, even though they've done very questionable things that I absolutely disagree with. But I do like this character, and it's Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog. You don't see much of him. Look at the base, how cool that is. There's a skull in back. And again, the Ray thing. I will never get past the Ray thing. But what's funny is that when Dr. Facilier appeared in Once Upon a Time in their last season, I really, really liked that character. Um, I think they did a great job. And you can find the walking character at Disneyland. I've seen him once or twice, and he is a good time. So I really like this character. But yeah, the Ray thing still, you know, never be over that. But cool villain. So that'll do it for this week's toy hunt. Yet again, five below coming in clutch there. But I hope you enjoyed this or found it useful in your own toy hunts. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.